Hello and welcome to Gimbal's Tip of the Week, where we provide you practical suggestions on building a more profitable and productive law practice, whether you're an attorney or anyone else working in the legal profession. I'm David Skinner. I'm a lawyer and a process improvement expert. Last week, Karen talked to you about pruning the puffery in your legal writing. There's a link to that episode below. That's one small improvement that you can make in your communications. But how do you really make a change stick? You need to create a habit. Today I'm talking about making other little changes and building the habits to support them. Before we get down to the business of today's tip, I'd like to invite you to our free masterclass, Three Mistakes Lawyers Make When They're Running Their Practice and How You Can Avoid Them. Reserve your spot using the link below. Over the holidays, I heard an interview with James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, and there's a link to the interview and his book in the show notes. James talks about building better habits and the impact of small habit changes over time. It's something that we've blogged about before. Making small changes, saving yourself a minute of time here or there on something that you do regularly, really adds up. So James's approach to incremental change and habit building really spoke to me. I'm sure it will help you as you make changes to the way that you work. James advocates trying to improve just 1% at a time. He believes small habit changes pay huge dividends if you stick to them and if you're patient enough to wait for the results. Like compound interest in your bank account, every little increment might add only a little bit to your bottom line, but over the year you really see a difference. We suggest the same. Pick a little thing about your work that you can improve, make it better, and stick to it. That's where design and James's four tips for habit building kick in. When we redesign a process in a law firm, we design the change so it's easier to adopt the new process than stick with the old one. When I heard James talking about building good habits, I saw the parallels. James describes four elements for building a good habit. I'm going to quickly run through them now as I see them applying to the change in your practice. Make the new behaviors obvious. You need to know exactly what you have to do and make sure there's a clear guide for the new process or that it's easy to access by clicking on a clearly labeled link on the computer screen. Number two, make it attractive. Ensure everyone knows the benefit that they'll get. Show people exactly what's in it for them. Step three, make it easy. Reduce the friction that people feel when using your new process. If people need to follow a new guide or use a new checklist, make sure that the document is front and center on their dashboard and that they can find it with minimal clicks and that it's easier to complete than the old one. Your new way should take less energy and effort than the old way. And finally, make it satisfying. Get creative here. Although your new process delivers a benefit, that may not be enough. Consider building in a reward. It could even be a badge for compliance or adoption. Remember, lawyers are super competitive. So look around your practice and identify small things that you can improve. Use our Eight Wastes workbook to get you started. There's a link to that below. Focus on small changes and on the four things that you need to do to build good habits that stick. That's it for this week's tip. Join us next week for more on building a profitable and productive law practice. You'll find links to a lot of the things that we discussed today in the notes to this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and maybe add a comment or ask us a question. We'll be certain to get back to you. If you want more information like this delivered once a week, straight to your inbox, then sign up below so that you don't miss a tip of the week. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next week.